It was a call on Remembrance Day Connie Brooks will always remember. It was the administrator who had uh, phoned and said to my older sister, uh, your mom flooded the room, she left the window open, the pipes froze, it's all her fault and she's going to have to pay for it. Brooks says the call came around noon and her mom had to leave West Country Hearth Lodge by 4 p.m. Administration saying there was no other accommodations. 92-year-old Elsie Fur ended up staying with one of her daughters. She uh, had a fall one day and we ended up taking her to the hospital. And while she was at the hospital, she started to have a series of heart attacks and uh, passed away the next morning. The family left with a $14,000 bill for the repairs to the room. In a statement to Global News, West Country Hearth pointed to their housing lease agreement signed upon admission, saying any damage to or the destruction of any of West Country Hearth property due to negligence or incompetency by the resident or their family members demands reimbursement and that residents are responsible for damage to plumbing by freezing or to floors or walls by rain if windows are left open. My insurance covers the contents, but they wouldn't cover the, the pipes freezing and the repairs of that because the building is already insured and they're not going to sell insurance for something that's already insured by another company. Ruth Adria with the Elder Advocates of Alberta Society says Fur and her family may not have understood or been aware of the damage policy. People who move into lodges are frail, they're dependent. Uh, in some instances, perhaps there's a bit of dementia. Brooks hopes sharing her story will bring awareness to others facing a similar situation. Chris Chacon, Global News.